Hi, I'm Charlie Davenport with Tandy Leather Factory, and today I'm going to teach you how to cut, shape, and form a flat piece of leather into a three-dimensional leather fish sculpture. Here we have a three to five ounce piece of vegetable tan leather. It's from the belly. It, we use it because it stretches more than other parts of the hide. We also have our tracing pattern and a stylus modeling tool. And what we're gonna do is get the leather damp and we're gonna transfer the pattern onto the leather. What I've done is I've already dampened the leather with the sponge and regular tap water, and I've let it set a little bit to soak in, and it's starting to come back to the natural color. And now I'm gonna place the pattern onto the leather and use my stylus, I'm going to start transferring the design onto the leather and just by tracing over the lines on the pattern, as you can see, it transfers the line onto the leather. and you're just using normal everyday writing pressure. You don't want to press down too hard. You want to make sure you get all the lines and if you're not too sure if you hold down on one side of the paper and lift up on the other you'll be able to check without losing your spot. We have all the lines traced. Now we're going to remove the pattern from the leather. The next step is using your swivel knife to cut the design. You want to make sure that you strop your swivel knife and just start cutting the design where we traced it.
almost have the koi fish carved out. This slot on the back of the fish, you just want to lightly cut to the top grain. like so on there and then these two lines on what will be the dorsal fin and that's all the swivel knife cutting the next step I'm just going to use this B200 beveler and I'm going to bevel around the eyes and a little bit around the whiskers and I'm just going to bevel where the dotted lines were on the pattern. And then that's all for the beveling. We'll move on to the pear shading. The next step is pear shading. I'm using a P368 pear shader, long pear shader with lines on it. And we're going to go right down. On the tail fin, we're going to start about right here and we're going to go out toward the middle of this tail fin and we're just going to walk it down the end of the tail and then back up this way.
once you have a few of these channels for the tail done with the mallet, you can take the tool and just drag it, push it along. And you don't want a nice even texture across here. You want it being a little different. And it's fine to go past the line that you cut because later we'll cut that part out so it won't show. And we'll do the same on the other side, the tail. And the last part of the pear shading, as you can see, is I'm just putting the, the pear shader right along the line we lightly cut along the dorsal at an angle. And it doesn't have to be even. It actually will look better when we're done if it's not nice and even. It'll add a lot more texture to the finished sculpture when we're done. And now it's time to move on to the next step, which is cutting the fish out.